Now we're going to look at the third video in the Shipping Methods series where we see how to add a shipping matrix for telephone sales. It's easiest to explain exactly what this is by actually showing you on a sales order. So here we have a sales order where I've turned on the shipping matrix and we can see it on the bottom left hand side. Brightpearl calculates the total weight of the order, the number of items, the delivery country and then shows us a price which we've entered into our shipping matrix. By clicking one of these, it adds a line item to the sales order and also sets the shipping method on the order. So here, for example, it's been set to FedEx Express, coming in at £6, and the shipping method has also automatically been set. That means that when I save changes and fulfil the order, the goods out note will be set to FedEx Express. Using the shipping matrix saves a lot of time and it also means that your sales operators don't need to calculate the shipping that's required for every single sale. However, if you want to use FedEx, UPS or any of the other live rates calculation to figure out exactly what your shipping is going to cost, then you need to enter shipping manually rather than using the shipping matrix. OK, let's see how to configure the shipping matrix. First of all, go to your sales setup screen, that's sales, sales settings. Then scroll down and choose yes for show shipping quote on order edit screen. And then down a bit further, choose yes for show weight in orders. If I open a sales order, we can now see the weight per unit coming out on the lines. And then at the bottom of the screen, there's also the total weight shown here. That comes into the shipping matrix, we can see total weight 600. Next, we'll go into our shipping method setup screen and choose the breaks. So for this top line, FedEx Express, we're breaking by number of items. So we're charging a different shipping amount for one item, five items, or ten items plus. For other courier, we're choosing to break by price. And for special delivery, we're choosing to break by weight. So when I open up this shipping method, we can choose the break type here, weight, price, or number of items, and then the breaks themselves. Let's have a look at weight. So the special delivery is being broken by weight. And what this means is for orders up to 100 grams, we'll be charging a certain amount, up to 500 a different amount, up to 1,000, up to 5,000, up to 10,000. And the last break needs to be a very high number, which means that you're not going to end up with free orders over a certain weight, price or number of items. The Edit Shipping method screen is also where we choose to add an optional list of allowed countries. So if you've got a shipping method that's only available to one country, or perhaps a certain subset of countries, put them in here. The next thing we need to do is set up shipping zones. And we've got three here. We've got domestic UK, which is just GB, and then Europe, and then the rest of the world. The shipping zones are going to be used by all of our shipping methods. And if we wanted to add a new shipping zone, you can see that it's simply a name and a list of countries. The last thing we need to do is set up the shipping prices themselves. So first of all, let's choose a shipping method and let's go with FedEx Express. And we chose for this one to be number of items. So we've got one, five, 10, and 100. The domestic price for these is flat rate five all the way through. But for Europe, we're charging 12 pounds for one item, 14 pounds for up to five items, 16 pounds for up to 10, and then 20 for more than 10 items. If I go to the other courier, where we chose price, we can see that for up to £100 it's going to cost £10 shipping, but then over £100, i.e. up to 9999 it's free shipping. So here if we go to a sales order that only costs £40, we can see that other courier is coming in as 10. If I actually wanted to buy three of these and save changes, and then scroll down the other courier price has gone down to zero. By clicking one of these links, it adds the line item, other courier is here, chooses the right code for shipping and delivery, puts the right price, and sets the shipping method on the order. So that shows you how to set up and use the shipping matrix in Brightpearl. It's not connected to your sales channels in any way, it's just for telephone operators or back office use. You need to type the prices in manually, they're not linked into your carrier systems but it's still a great way to save time and improve the accuracy of your shipping costs.